Hey guys, welcome back. Daku here, playing some more Undertale today. And, uh, last time we left off, we had a fight with our friend, the skeleton, whose name I have completely forgotten. Now I feel bad. His name is Papyrus. Uh, last time we left off, we fought Papyrus, and he granted us mercy, so that way we can have this date now today. Now, I've come back to the shop, I've saved, so that way my health is all back up. I bought a couple more of those uh, bicycles, they seem to be pretty well, um, what's the word? They're space efficient, I would like to say, that's what they are, they are space efficient. And uh, since they only grant 11 HP at a time that you eat it, that's perfectly fine, because I only have 20 HP anyways. And so I figured I might as well just get a couple of those. So I stocked up on those. I'm all set and ready to go for our date today with the one and only Papyrus. So we're headed over there now. We're going to head over to his house. Um, let's see. I saw the bar 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 bar. I wish I could like sneak a letter into his mailbox so he can be happy about that for at least. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. Hell yeah, you're good looking, man. I'll have to <laughs> I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. I wonder where we're going. We're gonna go on our date. Where are we gonna go? Where are you gonna take us, man? We're gonna... to the library? My house! Awesome! Do I have Gmod? What's... Jesus Christ, stop it! Alright, hold on guys. At the moment. It's one of the guys that I met up with the uh, for the Don't Starve. <laughs> Alright, we're here in the... Uh... So this is the, uh, this is the Skelebro's place, huh? This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. It's, <laughs> it's covered in sprinkles. Interesting. What's in your trash? That's the trash can. Feel free to visit anytime. Oh! Interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled <laughs> all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. It's a very high sink. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look, see. What? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. <laughs> Sans. Sans, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. Interesting. What about this? What does this do? That's nothing. What about the stove? My brother always goes out. I can't read because of the message by Hilo. Thank you. Goes out to eat, but I read. Oh my god. He recently he tried baking so something. It was like a quiche but filled with sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. You, you know that there's other things besides spaghetti, right? It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down, move it. Okay. You, mo <laughs> you moved it two inches, move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. <laughs> it's uh, like living with college roommates. Oh, it's my favorite game show. 
says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode, don't judge me. Interesting. He touched the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold. I, buddy, I found... It's, no, I don't want to take a joke book. Take a look inside. Yeah, I'll take a look inside the joke book. Inside the joke book was the quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. I wonder whose book that is. Welcome to Scenic My House. That's uh, some Hilo English right there. Enjoy. I'm sorry, Hilo. I didn't mean to throw you under the bus. <laughs> Enjoy and take your time. <laughs> A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Getting boners. Looks like he's having a party, man. Look at all that stuff underneath. The door is locked. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and uh, do whatever people do when they date. Oh. Okay. Uh, moving there pretty fast, aren't you there, buddy? Go inside. Uh, yeah, why not? This is adorable. So are we gonna, you know, wink, wink, are we gonna make this car go vroom vroom? Oh, yes. Action figures. A great reference for theatrical or theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, uh, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiley man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. Oh, you guys get Santa Claus down here. That's nice. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. It is, yeah. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> that's a nice theory. I, I mean, I guess you could say that's partially true. That book's one of my favorites, Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. Oh, my chair. That next book's an another one of my favorites, Peekaboo with Fluffy. <laughs> Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Where's this go? There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Wait a minute, what? Are you... That's such a play on words. Are you saying that you are sometimes in the closet? Is that what I'm getting here? E Actually, you know what? That kind of makes sense. Especially since we can't tell if our character is a boy or a girl. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, we'll take a look. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Ah, he's a nice organized guy. Unlike me. Uh... How about your computer? Am I going to find any, uh, any bone ladies in there? The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. <laughs> You've got negative two followers? How is that possible? Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns and a goofy font. That's <laughs> that sounds. That sounds script is pretty funny. Uh, what, what does this do? The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. Nice. Uh, what are the box of bones? On? Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, let's see. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair. Sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead I cruise while I snooze. So you are we gonna are we gonna, you know Are we gonna make that car go vroom vroom down this long driveway? 
So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Dating start, yes. Okay, dating start. Oh god, no, please. Don't be a battle, don't be a battle. At least the music's nice and upbeat. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can spell prepared without several letters for my name. Oh, you can't spell... <laughs> I was like, you can spell prepared without anything to do with me. You can't spell prepared without several letters for my name. That's true, I suppose. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for a dating hut. Interesting. Oh, wow. I push C and this is all what pops up. Wowie! I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Why is there an egg in the bottom left there? And there's a, there's a dog on the radar. Reel it in! Population! Crime! Step two, ask them on a date. <coughs> Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. <gasps> really? Oh, look at that cute. Look at that face, it's hilarious. Wow, I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That ribbon in your hair. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. <gasps> no! Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Damn it, Papyrus, you're good at this. You caught on. No. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, no, your dating power, it's over 9,000! Impossible! <laughs> Don't think you bested me yet, look at that tension. I hate having high tension on dates, it's very uncomfortable and it leads to... Never mind, I'm not going to finish that statement because I know my mom's watching this. I've never <laughs> been beating at dating it and I never will. Of course you haven't, this is your first date, buddy. I mean, uh... I, I believe in you, full-heartedly. I, I can easily keep up with you. Oh, let's see it. Bring it on. You want to fight? You want to fight? That's what me and my last girlfriend would say. When we <laughs> when we uh, had the urge to make out, we just go, You want to fight? You want to go? You want to go right now? You, you want to fight? Bring it. Same spot. Same place. And we go to this kid's... Never mind. I can't tell you guys my secrets. <laughs> you see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes. <laughs> I'm sorry. You always wait. What? You always wear your special clothes underneath your regular clothes? I don't see a helmet on you, buddy. And just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date, you've been planning this all along, haven't you? Behold. Yeah. What do you think of my secret style? It's amazing! It's wonderful! You're one cool dude! I love it! No. A genuine compliment. Impossible! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. You're right, I don't. You're gonna have to explain this to me. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. Oh! This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Z, huh? I can. I'm afraid to, to like inspect the Z. <laughs> How about the hat? My hat? My hat? My hat? <laughs> Well then, you found my- oh, wow, that was- that was fast. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present! A present just for you! <gasps> for me? I- I hardly ever get presents. Okay. Do you know what this is? Of course, that's, uh, spaghetti. Yeah. Uh, 
that's exactly what I was thought it was. Yeah. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right? But, oh, so wrong. Oh, it's not. This ain't no, any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There is no way this can go any further. I must eat your spaghetti, Papyrus. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Oh. Ugh. No! Thank God nobody's home, because I'm being really loud right now. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. Is it? It's time that I told you, yes, yes, I, Papyrus. Marry me, marry me, marry me. I, um, boy, this is it hot in here or is it just me? Come on, don't do this to me, bro. Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean, um, strictly platonic. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feelings would blossom forth, and I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. Damn you, Papyrus. Fuck with my feelings. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? How could you? Is exactly the question that I would like to ask. How could you? I've been your one and only friend. Unless you count your brother, Sans. Then I'm your second friend. And, uh, or any... Uh, no. I'm your second friend. And your first date, and you've done this to me, man. You took you, you, you played with my feelings. No, wait, that's that's wrong. I can't fail at anything, human. I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend, and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. The hell, there's a lawnmower outside. I'm the only one at my house. Why is there a lawnmower going around? Everybody else around us has already mowed their lawns. Why is there a mower going on right now? It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. <laughs> that, that's a true fact. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for a second best. <laughs> amazing, amazing Papyrus, thank you very much. Oh, oh, and uh, oh, and uh, if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Um, well, uh, gotta go. <laughs> and you just left me in his bedroom. I'm just lying on this floor. <sighs> Door is locked. Can't talk to his cool brother. Well, uh, that's it for the date, guys. It was actually a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be, but uh, it was pretty cool. And uh, thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you all again soon. Leave a comment and subscribe down below. And take care until I see you next time.